you really need to know what you're doing when you're doing an automotive level quality PPAP. Automotive is very strict about their PPAP requirements. You're doing things such as performance testing on the, the strength of a weld nut or you're verifying that the material meets the tensile yield and elongation needed to make sure it meets the mechanical requirements of the assembly. Even appearance, you gotta have your failure modes completed, control plans completed, process flows completed. Um, there is a lot that goes into an automotive level PPAP that either one, our competitors around the area just don't have the expertise in, or don't have the resources for, or just don't have the understanding of it. First off is you gotta have a, a strong APQP process, which is Advanced Product Quality Planning. That's a requirement of IATF 16949 certification. It's not for everybody. It takes a lot of resources, and when you're supplying direct to assembly lines or directly to tier ones that go to the assembly line, you cannot be late. We know the cost to you is extreme if that assembly line goes down. And we guarantee we will not be the cause of your downtime. So it is a completely different animal, it takes a whole nother level of supplier, and especially in this area, that's what really separates us from the competition. Quality starts at the machines. We use check fixtures. There are flush gauges, go, no go gauges, feeler gauges, and fit gauges. The check fixture mimics how the part will fit in assembly at the customer. We do level three PPAPs. So the time and energy that goes into, the resource that goes into a PPAP, whether it's 10,000 parts or 100,000 parts is the same. Because this, along with 19 other elements that compose a PPAP, it is what a good automotive stamper does. Anybody can talk quality, anybody can talk price. But what we realize is there's always a problem to be solved or a suggestion to be made. 